So today I'm going to be talking about Metro 2033, about really the main points of the plot. Now, Metro 2033 is a science fiction post-apocalyptic novel by uh, Russian author Dmitry Glukovsky. Now, to set the scene a little, it's really about this nuclear apocalypse, and the survivors of said nuclear apocalypse take refuge in the subways, particularly the Moscow subway. And uh, Artyom, our main protagonist, when he was young, he left an opening so that these species called the dark ones, these humanoid species that are less than friendly, and they threaten humanity's position. Uh, they threaten humanity's position as dominant species on Earth. And if they come in through this opening, humanity is is screwed basically. And Artyom gets reminded of this by Hunter, one of his mentors. And Artyom obviously regrets it, and Hunter tells him to go to the central station in the subway police to warn them of the on uh, incoming threat. Now, um, Artyom, for his mission, gathers some of his friends. Some of them die horribly. They get mauled by mutants. And the scary thing about this book is that it, it can... It, it's possible, okay? It's possible. Probably minus the dark ones. This thing is possible. Imagine if the whole world gets nuked. This is, this is like realistic fiction here, basically. Realistic science fiction. And that's what really makes it scary. And RTM just comes... It, it's really claustrophobic. The environment of the book is really claustrophobic. These tight spaces in the tunnels, right? And in these little trains, dinky trains, old. Okay, and so a lot of his friends die. That's where a lot of the terror comes. You don't really see the mutants much, but you know they're there, and it creates this incredible paranoia about anything could be in the darkness. And he and he gets separated from his friends. He gets separated by other people he meets along the way, including Khan and Ace. Uh, who claim and Khan claims to be an, a reincarnation of Genghis Khan. Now, along his way, Artyom uh, comes across this religious cult. I'm not going to get into the details of that. He escapes. He gets captured by fascists. He narrowly escapes, okay? And he gets enslaved for a while. He then escapes geniusly. And that's where I stopped as he's running from his captors. So, uh, so, of course, that's only half the book. I'm going to continue reading, and I'm going to tell you more about the book and finish the plot.